Animotion is a lightweight library that adds minimalistic animations to your Web Studio site, including on Radix components. Now, a disclaimer, this is not an official Web Studio library. This is not related to the animation UI that Web Studio will create. This is made by me on my own behalf to hold us over until we get to that point. Now, there are plenty more libraries out there like GSAP that are going to offer so much more functionality than what we have here. But if you're like me, you just want a simple way to fade things in as they come into the viewport or expand accordions with an animation. You open your menus so they're not choppy. Let's dive into a demo and then I'm going to show you how to add this to your website. All right, first up, we have intersection triggers. These fire as soon as the element enters the viewport and it plays out the animation from start to finish. Next, we have progress triggers. These are tied to your scrolling. So as you scroll in, the animation is playing from start to finish and it'll back out to as it goes back down. You can configure all of this and I'll show you that later. I also have the animation set to pretty slow right now just for demonstration purposes. Next, we have the radix state trigger. These fire when you interact with Radix components. So when you open a menu, for example, the menu fades in. And same thing with accordions. They're gonna expand very nicely. Lastly, I'll show you a way that instead of applying the animation to each individual box, you can apply it on the parent and tell it to animate all of the children, but we'll get into all of that. Here I have the Web Studio homepage and I wanna start animating some of this. So first up, let's go to the marketplace and insert the code. This is what actually does the heavy lifting. We get a little confirmation message here. I'm gonna get rid of that and move this animation to a global slot, my nav. That's because I want the animation code to be on every page and my nav is on every page. Now I can start animating. So let's go to this section and I want to animate this image in. To do that, we're gonna to go to it, settings, then properties and attributes and do data dash any. And now we're gonna provide a value like fade. And now when it enters the viewport, it's gonna fade in. And I can scroll up a little bit to see that as it enters the viewport, it's gonna fade in. And I can do this on its siblings as well. So I can go over here and say, I also want you know data dash any fade, but this is gonna be a little bit redundant if I want to apply it to all of them. So instead of applying it individually, I'm gonna take it off of the two I just applied and go up to the direct parent. You can see all of these links have apparent examples. And I'm gonna apply it here, and you'll see if I do this, it's gonna fade in the entire section, even the things that aren't in the viewport yet, but I want it to animate each individual child. To do that, let's go back up here and add a second property and say data dash any dash children true. And this says don't impact the parent, impact all the children. And now, as each child enters the viewport, it fades in. Now you might be wondering, how do you do the progress trigger? So it fades in or applies the animation as it goes in and out of the viewport attached to the scroll. To do that, I'm gonna introduce a third and last attribute to add. Instead of data dash any, we're gonna do data dash any dash progress. And we're gonna give it the same value of fade. So this says, attach the animation to progress rather than as soon as it enters the viewport. And now we have this nice animation coming in and out. So far, we've talked about when the instance intersects with the viewport as it scrolls in. Lastly, I wanna talk about the third type of animation, which is on Radix. We're gonna use that same data dash Any that we've already been using, but for Radix components, we just need to know where to apply it. So on an accordion, we need to apply it to the item content. I'm gonna scroll down to my accordion and open my accordion right here and I can see item content. So this is the place that we want to add it. I'm going to do the expand animation. This one is the one that really makes sense for accordions. And now we have a nice smooth animation going in and out. And by the way, all of these are available in the docs. So I can see we did it fade. This one we did expand and we have these other ones we can use as well. One more Radix component. Let's do the navigation menu and it looks like we should add it to the menu viewport. So let's go to our menu and find the viewport here and add data dash Annie and we will do zoom. Now we have a nice effect. It's a little bit slow for demonstration purposes, but we can customize all of that. You do have the ability to configure this so you can modify the duration for the animations and some other things. It's all documented here. This is available in the readme and in other places. For now, I'll just show you when you open up the Annie motion slot, we have CSS 
And at the top of this, here's where you can define global values. You can also override them locally if you want. And same thing with JavaScript, you can change some of the behavior of uh, you know, where it intersects with the viewport and some other things. The defaults are really nice though, and will be great for most use cases. Animotion is lightweight, has a very low learning curve, and animates your Web Studio website, including with Radix components. It's available now in the marketplace, and it's meant to hold us over until an animation UI comes out in Web Studio. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.